Welcome, I'm Chef Deborah from Rocus Bakery in Greensboro, North Carolina. Welcome to my kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be doing some great uh, crepe desserts. We're going to be doing a basic crepe recipe and then we're going to turn that basic crepe recipe into three different types of desserts that are going to be fun. We're going to flambe these desserts, two of them at least, and so you'll get to learn how to do that uh, and it's going to be a fun experience. Uh, so please visit us at rocasbakery.com if you have your smartphone or your computer. Uh, we are on Instagram and Facebook. Our website has links to all of our uh, TV shows on, from Series 1 and our pilot show under the TV tab as well as our online store. We ship nationwide. So let's get started today with crepes. So we need a blender. If you don't have a blender, it's not an absolute, but it does, it does make the batter ultra smooth. So if you don't have a blender, not to worry, just get a big bowl out and you can go ahead and, and use a, a whisk, which is one of these, one of these tools uh, to actually break up the, um, the batter and make sure there's no lumps. But we are gonna strain it as well before we set it in the fridge. So we're gonna start with um, one and a half cups of whole milk. And please use whole milk. This, these are crepes. We don't want to do low-fat crepes. So we're going we're gonna to use whole milk. And we're also adding one half cup of room temperature water. And we're just going to put, we're just literally dumping everything in the blender. So we've got three tablespoons of sugar, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of good vanilla, because this is a little bit of a boozy dessert, we've got two tablespoons of cognac. If you don't wanna use a cognac, you don't have to do that. I would just add uh, two, two more tablespoons of milk so that you have the liquid to dry ingredient ratio correct. And then we have one and a half cups of flour. You just dump it all in. And five tablespoons of melted butter. And that is our crepe recipe. Super simple, easy peasy. And uh, we're gonna turn the blender on just to mix for about 30 seconds or so. And we'll turn it off and just make sure that there's no flour stuck to the sides of the blender and everything is incorporated really well. And then we'll just punch it for about five seconds more. And our crepe batter is done. Really easy, isn't it? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a strainer, just uh, pour this through a strainer, and this is to just collect any lumps that might be in the batter. Uh, you don't want lumpy crepes. Uh, I've had a lumpy crepe or two in my day that I have made because I, did not do, I didn't take the time to do this. But you can see that there is a little bit of, of um, particles in the, the bottom of the strainer. So we wanna be sure that we do that. So we have a super, super smooth batter. So we're gonna cover this with plastic. We're gonna sit it in the refrigerator for at least three hours. If you know you're gonna make crepes the next day, make it the night before, put it in a, a, a sealed plastic container or something like this with plastic wrap over it, stick it in there overnight. It's, it's gonna be fine. You can keep it in the fridge for a couple of days actually. So it's a really easy, very forgiving recipe. So that is our basic crepe batter. So we're gonna wrap this and get it in the fridge, then we're gonna come back and we're going to cook our crepes and we're gonna make crepe Suzettes and our bananas foster and our strawberries and cream crepe. We'll see you in a few minutes. So we're back with our crepe batter that's been sitting for at least three hours or overnight. And I've already started to make some crepes here, but I wanna do a couple so you can see. Now you can, you can buy a crepe pan if you want to but i got this this pan at walmart i think i paid 12 dollars for it it's a great super non-stick and it works great for the crepes so you don't have to have any fancy pan or anything to do to do this so um, i'm just going to take a little bit of clarified butter uh, put in the pan and then i've got a third measuring uh, cup here it's one third cup and it makes a perfect size crepe for this pan and you might want to experiment with your pan. Even though it's non-stick, you want to put a little bit of butter on it. And so we're just going to tilt it like this and move that batter all the way around as soon as it hits the pan so that you get an even crepe. So you can see that. And we're just going to let it sit for about a minute to cook on that side and then we flip it and let it cook for about 20 seconds on the other side or until, until you see the nice golden color 
on both sides and the back side will be a little bit lighter than the than the the initial uh, batter that gets poured into the pan but uh, they're just absolutely delicious and you know you can flavor these with other flavorings other than vanilla if you want to you can put if you like a little bit of orange zest in it or anything like that or lemon zest you can certainly do that but i think vanilla is is a good base so that if you want to fill it with something different you can you can do that so it's not competing with with the different flavors so this is a good you know just a good vanilla crepe base now for crepes we're making them sweet today as you can see I just took a silicone spatula and flipped it over and we're just going to let it sit and cook for another uh, 15 or 20 seconds on this side. We're doing dessert crepes today was what I was saying but you can also fill these with like ham and cheese and you can put like sauteed broccoli and ham and cheese and make a dinner crepe. Uh, just use a bigger non, you could use a 12 inch non a nonstick skillet and have a couple two or three of those and that's your supper. And you can have the crepe batter you know made the day before or the morning of and you practically have dinner already made for those moms who you know wives who work you know the ham is already diced up you can buy that in the grocery store the cheese is already shredded for you and the broccoli is already cut up so you know you can make a really quick nice dinner with this so this is done so we're just gonna toss that aside here on the plate and we're just gonna lightly butter the pan again we don't want too much butter in there because you don't want it to be swimming in the butter i'm going to drop some more batter and then immediately start swirling the pan and if you've never tried you know tried to make your own crepes you know you can see how simple and easy this is you know i love taking all of these very traditional very old recipes that people don't make anymore and restaurants don't make anymore like the crepe Suzette dessert or the bananas foster that we're going to make or strawberry and cream crepes and and i love to reintroduce them to to my followers to our customers at the bakery and and just to the general public because it's it's a lot of fun to watch people experience a recipe that's a couple hundred years old at least say wow this is so wonderful why did we lose this somewhere along the way in our culinary experience as a society um, so we love to take these very old vintage recipes and kind of modernize them a little bit we don't want to change them too much because they're great recipes and uh, reintroduce them and i think it's just a it's just a wonderful experience I know, you know, my family has, has loved it. And my kids have always loved the crepes as well. I think their favorite was the cheese and broccoli crepe. We had those a lot as they were growing up. This is our last one we're gonna make. And then we're going to clean up the, the counter and we're gonna start making our crepe Suzette. So we'll see you back in just a couple of minutes. So we're back, I've got all of our crepes cooked and we've got our, our skillet preheated on our little burner. Uh, and we're going to start putting together the crepe Suzette. So we've got uh, one whole orange sectioned. We do have the zest of one lemon and one orange. We have about two tablespoons of limoncello, which is our an Italian lemon liqueur, and a couple of tablespoons of Grand Marnier, which is an orange liqueur. Now, if you do not want to use liquor in this, you do not have to do that. You can just cook it in the juices, so not to worry. We do have two tablespoons of lemon juice. We have a half a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice and use real orange juice. Don't use the concentrate. If you can just get the, get the real oranges and squeeze them yourself, it's, it makes all the difference in the world if you're going to do go through the trouble of making this wonderful dessert. And we've also got three tablespoons of sugar. So that's the ingredients that we have here. So we're gonna start by putting three tablespoons of butter in our skillet and we're going to cook it until it gets a little foamy then we're going to be adding and we don't want it we don't want it too hot that it's going to burn so we're going to, we'll turn the flame up a little bit towards the end when we when we light it on fire and flame it up a little but we don't want it to uh, to get too too hot so once the butter starts to get foamy like it is and it's completely melted we're going to start adding our ingredients so we're going to want to add our orange segments all at once. We're going to add our orange zest. And you, know, you can do this at the dining room table if you have a little portable stovetop gas thing like we have here. It works great. 
and we're going to add our three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and our half a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. And we're just going to let that uh, cook for just a minute so the sugar melts and it gets nice and bubbly. You can serve um, probably four guests with this recipe. So if you want to do more than that, I would suggest getting like a 12 inch uh, nonstick skillet and double the recipe so that you can, you can make more crepes because normally they serve three, uh, three crepes per serving with this. You, you can certainly change that amount if you want to just do one or two, that's certainly fine too. Uh, normally this dessert is not served with like any whipped cream or anything like that. It's just served with this beautiful sauce and we want to cook it till the sauce starts to thicken a little bit. So we want, want it to just thicken a little bit so we're going to dip the crepes in this and then we're going to fold them in quarters and make a little triangle out of them. So there's a lot of crepe places around, not here in our area too much in, in the Greensboro area. But I know uh, our film crew's from New York City and they have crepe places a lot up there from what I hear. And you know, you see, even at the fairs, you see the crepe trucks that make these great big huge crepes and they stuff them full of all kinds of wonderful things. You know, one of the things that would be nice to, to do with crepes is to spread Nutella on them. Great breakfast for the children. If you wanna serve them a nice hot breakfast that doesn't take a lot of time. You got the batter in the refrigerator you've made the day before or a couple of days ago and you can easily just, instead of frying an egg, you can put a crepe in a Nutella, or you can make a scrambled egg crepe with cheese uh, and a little bit of salsa. And you know, so you can do all kinds of great things with this, uh, with crepe recipes, uh, other than just desserts. So it's nice to know that. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and let this just cook another few minutes. You know, back in the 50s, they used to make this dessert in real fancy restaurants all the time, and they would do it table side. And so the maitre d' or the, or the concierge, or it was, might be the executive chef would come out table side, and they would make these crepe, the crepe Suzettes for people. And of course, it was pretty pricey back then because it was a show. Like, kind of not, not, kind of like today when you go to a Japanese steakhouse and, and the, the Japanese chefs have their knives and they make their volcanoes and do all these wonderful things. And, and that's years ago, that's what the maitre d's used to do. And that was part of their job. And, and so we've lost that a lot in our restaurants today with the fast food and the quick meals. So I think this is about cooked down the way we want to. It's just slightly thickened. So we're gonna take a crepe and just be careful not to burn yourself. And we're going to, we're just gonna dip the crepe in this and then we're gonna fold it over into quarters and then we're gonna place it on our china plate. And we're, gonna, we're gonna do two here today. So you can see for presentation. And just be careful when you're doing this because it is, of course, a very hot liquid. So you don't wanna get burned. But we wanna be sure we get some of those orange segments uh, in there. And so what we're gonna do now is we're going to add the booze, <laughs> our Grand Marnier, our Limoncella. We're gonna turn the flame up a little bit. Now, if you don't have a gas stove or a gas burner, you can use a torch or like a fireplace. So we just wanna just tip it over lightly and you see how it's on fire. And we're just going to just gently pour it over, flame and all, right over there. Let me turn this off real quick so we don't get burned. And it makes a wonderful, wonderful presentation. And there's nothing else that, that we need to serve or we need to put on the plate because this is absolutely enough. So we're gonna garnish with a little bit of mint. And if you don't wanna do the mint, that's fine. But I think a little bit of color on the plate other than the oranges is wonderful. And if you want to, you can garnish with like a or couple of orange slices if you wanna do that. But I mean, this is such, you know, get your fine china out and celebrate life because that's, you know, food and family and enjoying our lives together is what it's all about. And Crepe Suzette is a great way to celebrate life. This is Chef Deborah. We're finished with this recipe and we're gonna go on to now our Bananas Foster. Uh, but please make this recipe and uh, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes after we get set up for the next one. See you in a bit. 
This is Chef Deborah, and we're back for our second uh, wonderful crepe dessert. And we're actually, I'm actually going to do a couple of different presentations. I'm going to do a Bananas Foster's crepe, and then we're going to do a traditional Bananas Foster's over ice cream, just to show you, as long as I'm doing it, to show you a couple different ways you can, you can enjoy this great traditional old school dessert and remake it a little bit. So we've got uh, four tablespoons of good high quality butter put in a pan and we don't want to get the heat too hot on this only because when we're going to add a half a cup of dark brown sugar we don't want it to separate. Um, if we get it too hot the sugar will and the sugar and butter won't come together really well so we want to keep it on a kind of a medium low heat while we're making our little caramel sauce is kind of what we're doing except without the cream so it's like a brown sugar sauce. And then we've got one cinnamon stick and I've got uh, some lemon peel, not lemon zest, but lemon peel. You take a vegetable cutter and, and just very lightly put it down the side of a lemon. We don't want the white pith on the back, almost you can see through it. So we want like a, a piece about two inches long by an inch and a half. So I cut, uh, I'll probably use the bigger and the smaller one here. And then we have a quarter cup of rum. And then I've got a couple of bananas. So we're gonna add our brown sugar here stir it up and we're going to let let this melt and the brown sugar will melt into the butter then we'll go ahead and add in our lemon zest this will probably take about a minute to make sure that the sugar melts it gets nice and gooey and caramely now if you don't want to use rum in this the reason there is rum in it you know this is a medium golden rum but you can also use dark rum is to flambe to, to this is a, a a fire dessert like the crepe Suzette was. If you don't want to use the rum and you don't mind not flambeing this and making a nice presentation, you can use about an eighth of a cup of apple juice uh, that should pair well with the bananas and not change the overall flavor profile of the dessert. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the, lemons, uh, the lemon peel and the cinnamon stick in there. And it just lightly flavors in and we'll take that out later we won't serve that over the dessert it's just there to flavor so we're just going to let that cook for just a minute so we don't have to worry about baking those we can make those ahead of time you can actually freeze those um, you just wrap them individually put saran wrap in between each each crepe wrap them again the whole stack if you're making a stack of them you can really have a nice uh, stack of crepes in your freezer ready to go and just pull one out as you want it you know if you're home alone for lunch one day and you just want to do something special for yourself pull out a crepe and put some strawberries in it or make it a vegetarian lunch or put some ham and cheese or a scrambled egg and cheese so yeah you can do all kinds of wonderful things with these crepes so this does not take long to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our bananas. And we have a couple of bananas here and we've, we've cut them lengthwise and then acrosswise. And we're going to lay them down in the sugar like this. And we're going to go ahead and let them cook with a cinnamon stick for about a minute or so in the sauce. We don't want them to cook till they're really soft and mushy. We want them to hold the shape together. So we don't want, you know, we don't want to see them fall apart in your skillet. But, um, you know, the brown sugar sauce is not going to be smooth and creamy. It's not meant to be like a caramel sauce for ice cream. It's not meant to be that at all. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and flip them over. So you just wanna cook them slightly and warm them in the sugar and butter. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold our crepe into a quarter like we did for the crepe Suzette. So we fold it in half and then we fold it over again. So it makes a nice little triangle. Now, traditionally this dessert is served with ice cream. So if you wanna, um, we have slices here and I'll show you a couple different ways to present. If you wanna just uh, not have a crepe and just have this be an ice cream dessert, that would be a great thing to do as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put the bananas right over the crepe like this. Or you can actually open the crepe up and slice the bananas. And then we're going to add some um, rum in here. I'm gonna turn the flame up a little bit. There we go, woo! 
We're gonna light it on fire, aren't we? That's a big flame. Let that burn off a minute. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pour it over. Like that. And that's a beautiful dessert. We're just gonna go ahead and let this burn off. We'll turn the flame off. So you see how easy it is that you can you can actually lose control of a flame, especially with the rum and some you know high alcohol um, alcohol things. But uh, it's always good to have something ready just in case that happens. We're going to add these sliced bananas into um, the sugar, and we're going to go ahead and turn the flame back on now that the alcohol is burned off. And we're going to go ahead and uh, saute these real quick on medium low heat and let me go grab the ice cream real quick so if you are wanting to just do something nice for your family for a dessert and not have to you know go to the store we can just serve it in a little a little glass parfait cup this was my mother's or you can put it in a china cup and make it look really fancy for your friends and you can top this with nuts if you want but you know it can make a nice little dessert for the for the ladies at your church social or just your girlfriends ha coming over for a quick bite and and having some really nice dessert options for you so let me get this out of the way and go ahead and put a little mint on here i think that's um you know what a what a wonderful way to enjoy your friends and your family and wonderful way to enjoy life so that is our second crepe recipe, Bananas Foster Flambe uh, with cinnamon, and uh, we do it also over ice cream. So make this dessert for your family and friends. I know that you will enjoy it. It's absolutely delicious. And we're gonna go on to our next crepe recipe, which is strawberries and cream. We'll see you in just a minute. So this is Chef Deborah. We're back with our very last crepe dessert. This is our strawberries and cream crepe. So we already have our crepes cooked and uh, we've um, got maybe uh, three quarters of a cup of sliced strawberries and about a cup and a half of fresh sweetened whipped cream with a little bit of vanilla in it. And I did put a little bit of lemon juice in the berries and about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. And we're just gonna fold this together. And this is a super simple, the crepes are easy to make. Uh, this is a really nice summertime dessert. Great for bridal showers. This is really a nice, nice little one. And what I've done is I've taken um, a little bit of lemon zest, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, and some of my homemade strawberry jam that I've just melted a little bit and cooled. And we're just gonna spread a little bit on the bottom of the crepe. Now, if you don't make your own jam, not to worry, you can get a good quality strawberry jam would be nice. Uh, don't, don't want to use something that's inexpensive after you've, again, gone to the trouble of doing this because this is a, this is a delicious dessert. So we're just gonna fold this in like this, and then we're just gonna fold it over. And that's it. I mean, very super simple, not complicated in any way. We're gonna take a little bit of this jam and we're gonna just kind of drizzle it over the top like this. And you have your strawberry crepes. You can decorate the plate a little bit if you want. I got my grandma's china out here because it just matched so perfectly with a, a summertime dessert like strawberries and cream crepes. And that is our dessert. Let me cut it for you so you, you can see what it looks like inside real quick. This is what you see inside, just a beautiful, delicate mouthful of goodness that really will make anybody really, really happy, but you have to love whipped cream. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful, wonderful dessert. This is Chef Deborah signing off for this episode of Everything Crepes, Crepe Suzette, Bananas Foster Crepes, and Strawberries and Cream Crepes. Until we see each other next time, bon appetit.